area of a circle, and we're going to be using pi again. Um, and my area formula here is area is equal to pi times r squared. And don't forget that about that invisible time sign, so you can think about that as pi times r squared. And remember that r squared is just r times r. And a quick reminder again, in your calculator, you would use shift and pi to get pi, and you can use the x squared button there to get your squared on the r. So, other reminders for us. Parts of a circle again, from end to end all the way across, that is the diameter, always all the way across. And the radius is only from the center to the edge. So we have to have the radius in this case, we cannot use the diameter. So, looking at this first example, I've been given a circle with a radius of one meter. So I have everything I need for that formula. I would say my area is equal to pi times one squared. Well, anything times one is just one, so one times one is one times pi is pi. So I could leave that as pi, or if you're more comfortable with a number, in your calculator it'll come up as 3.14, because that's what pi approximates to. So 3.14, and again in this case meters squared. So, in the next example, you can see I've been given a radius of 2.5 centimeters. And that's okay, I need radius for my formula, so I'm going to go area is equal to pi times 2.5 squared. And in your calculator, should come up, pi times 2.5 squared is going to be 19.63, or 64, centimeters squared. And again, what I'm actually saying here is that if I had a single square centimeter, I could fit about 19 and a half of them inside of that circle. My last example here is where it gets a bit tricky. We have to do the two steps. Because look carefully at what's been given to me. I've been given the diameter. I've been given a diameter of 10. But you'll notice I need r. I need my radius for the formula. So in this case, diameter is equal to 10. And remember that radius is equal to one half of the diameter, or you could think about it as diameter is equal to two times the radius. So if my diameter is 10, the radius is only half of that, because going from the center to the edge instead of from edge to edge is half. So that means my radius should be equal to five millimeters. And now I can use my formula. Area is equal to pi times five squared, so area is equal to pi times 5 squared, which is 25, gives me 78.54 millimeters squared. Again, squared because I'm in area. So keep in mind with the circle formula for, s for the area, you must use the radius. So watch out for that one, it will get you. Reminding yourself again that the radius is just half the diameter if you've been given the diameter. Just divide it by two.